everybody, welcome back to Book Babble. I'm Kelsey. You might want to grab a water bottle for this one and buckle up because it's about to get dry. By Neil Schusterman and Jared Schusterman. So, Dry is a standalone novel. It is contemporary science fiction, so like modern day sci fi. And actually, our subgenre here, word of the day, is sci cli, meaning climate change science fiction. So the premise of Dry uh, is it takes place in like Los Angeles, Southern California, uh, when the water runs out. So it's something called the tap out. Um, when Arizona and Nevada cut off all of their reservoir water to California and most of its residents are left with no running water, drinking water. So kind of like we saw about uh, about this time last year, uh, there are Costco's and everybody's rushing for the bottled water, the soda, the Gatorade, anything liquid. And just over the course of a very short amount of time, society begins to sort of break down and devolve with people getting dehydrated, passing away, or wandering around in marauding bands of what they call water zombies. Um, it is a really, really fun, like, not quite post-apocalyptic because the world hasn't ended, but it definitely has that feel. Um, so if you're a big fan of, like, you know, society collapse, um, post-apocalyptic stuff, you'll definitely like this one. Um, it was a little bit real after uh, some of the panic having to do with the pandemic because uh, definitely uh, human fear and human panic and human mistakes are a big theme going on here with Dry, uh, which is really, really, really fun. Um, one of the things I really liked is we've got two narrators here. Um, there is Alyssa um, and there is Kelton. And Kelton, I think, is really fun because his parents are doomsday preppers. So they, you know, they used to be kind of like the people in the neighborhood everyone kind of made fun of as being standoffish with their, like, big fence and their, their like sustainable greenhouse. Um, but then all of the sudden, <laughs> people start coming by to their house like, hey, howdy neighbor, I hear you have the water. You guys are so smart and we love you now. Here is a gift. Please give us water. Um, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't kidding about this. It was not a joke reading this book will make you thirsty, so have water on you. <laughs> um, it's a fun ride, but it definitely doesn't pull its punches. Um, so it's, it's not the most uplifting read, um, but it is really, really fun if you're into, you know, zombie apocalypse type stuff, things like that. Even though it's technically um, a little bit more realistic fiction, it definitely has that vibe that feel to it. So I would highly, highly recommend it. You can come and check it out here at the library or you can check out the ebook version on Overdrive and hopefully we will see you soon. Hi everyone, Miss Randy here. Today I am going to be talking about Early Departures. This is a 2020 contemporary science fiction novel written by Justin A. Reynolds. So in this book there is Jamal and Quincy, J and Q, John C. They used to be the best of friends, a comedy duo, um, until Jamal loses his parents in a tragic accident. Now, two years later, the boys don't even speak to each other. Jamal is drowning in his own grief. He's failing at school, and he still blames Quincy for his parents' death. Tragedy strikes again, when the two boys meet at a beach party. Jamal rescues Q from drowning, only to witness him die at the hospital. Q's mom, Mrs. B, and Jamal are both devastated by the news. But then they're offered a chance, a new medical procedure or technology that can bring Q back, but only for a limited time. So this is a chance for Mrs. B to say goodbye to her son, and a chance for Jamal to mend his friendship before Q is gone for good. Jamal wants to make things right, but Mrs. B doesn't want to tell Quincy what has happened or what is going to happen, that he has an expiration date. So how can Jamal make things right if he can't tell Q the truth? So grab your tissues for this one. Um, it is an emotional roller coaster. All the feels, all the feels. Um, I picked it up uh, for the premise alone. The idea that you can have the opportunity 
to say goodbye to someone that has already left you, to have that chance to speak to your loved one again. Um, I loved all the characters in this one. I usually say I love the characters, but um, there's Jamal and Quincy and uh, Jamal's girlfriend Autumn, his sister, his older sister Wit, and Mrs. B. Um, you know, Jamal is sort of broken. He's been broken by the the loss of his parents, and he sort of closes himself off because he doesn't want to um, experience that loss again. And um, all of these characters around him are trying to help him and support him and get him through this difficult time. I think the author does a great job of, you know, ex sort of showing you the importance of forgiveness of not giving up on someone, of realizing that we as humans all make mistakes, but that we need to own up to them and tell people that we're sorry and to atone for the wrongs that we've done. Um, that it's important that you tell the people in your life that you love them while they're with you. So that's why I recommend um, Early Departures. I, I found it to be an excellent book. I plan on picking up his uh, first novel, uh, The Opposite of Always, um, it's just a really great read. Um, and so if you decide you want to check this out as well, it is available at our library in print. Want more recommendations? Visit our website at fountaindale.org slash teenreads to view book lists curated just for you, including um, April's teen poetry and novels in verse, staff picks, and much more. We'll see you next time.